Hello again, I'm Marty Jake, and welcome back to Artistic Reviews, the series in which I normally review media featuring artistic characters on the basis of how good it is representation-wise. So today's video is going to be a bit different. Instead of reviewing a piece of fiction, today I'm going to be taking, talking about a comedy that I found on Netflix. We're going to be taking a look at Hannah Gadsby's comedy special, Douglas. Hannah Gadsby is an Australian comedian. She came to prominence when she won a comedy competition in 2006. Douglas is the second of her Netflix specials, the first being a show called Nanette. Hannah Gadsby was diagnosed as autistic several years ago, according to the show. Her autism makes up a big part of the show, and I thought it would be interesting to see autism humor by an actual autistic person. I'm going to talk about the things that I liked about the special. The show has several segments, but for the purpose of this review, I'm going to be focusing on the ones related to autism. Honestly, I have to say that this was probably the most relatable comedy sketch I have ever seen. My favorite parts of the show were whenever she talked about her autism. There was one segment towards the end that was so funny because of how relatable it was to me that I actually had tears from laughter. Also, I love just how many times she managed to slip the phrase, I have autism, into the show. First of all, I don't know if this has anything to do with her being autistic, but I love how she starts the show off by describing the format of the show and what's going to happen when. When she's describing what she's going to do, she says that at one point she's going to drop the mic, but follows it up with, I have autism and I find loud noises quite distressing, so I'm just going to gently place it on the ground. That would take away from the theatrics of the moment, but let's not be ableist about this, which I quite liked. Also, there's so many good quotes in this show. At one point she says, this is a show about autism, and people with autism rarely make a good first impression, and most people tend to write us off because of that, which is such an accurate observation. And when talking about how she began to suspect she was autistic, she said that people kept coming up to her after shows and telling her they think she has autism, and she says that she thinks that they were all autistic. I especially love when she says that I like the way that I think, there is beauty in the way that I think. I'm really glad she said this and that other people get to hear it. Just because I think differently than you do, it doesn't make it wrong. There are two sections in particular that really stand out to me. The first is where she talks about anti-vaxxers, and it's really good. She basically says, in so many words, that being autistic is not worse than having a disease like polio, for instance. And I love that she pointed that out. My existence is not worse than the disease. Honestly, my favorite part of the show was when she starts talking about an incident that happened when she was in school where she kept misinterpreting what her teacher was saying because she wasn't getting the metaphor. And I laughed so hard at this part because I found it so relatable. In a story, her teacher told her to imagine a box and told her that a preposition is a word that explains your relationship to the box. And she explains that she took it as the teacher saying she's related to a box. The whole segment was honestly really funny to me because of how relatable it was. I'm sure most of us have similar stories where we accidentally took something someone said literally. And finally, I really liked the way she describes how it felt when she got diagnosed. She said, I felt, I felt like I'd been handed the keys to the city of me because I was now able to make sense of so many things that had only ever been confusing to me. Why I felt just a profound sense of isolation my entire life despite trying so hard to be part of the team. If you're looking for autism comedy that's not offensive, then I would suggest giving this a try. I was pleasantly surprised by it. Rather than offensive jokes about autism, this is what autism humor should be. Jokes that fellow artistic people can relate to. Have you seen Hannah Gatsby's Netflix special? Or are you planning to? What did you think? Did you agree or disagree with anything I said? Let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, but goodbye.